Well, howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Idaho. And um, just wanted to take a moment and show you where we're at on the Kia Sorento AC job. Can you believe that I was able to uninstall and install this line? Look at that. It, woo, it waves that way, it goes that way, it comes up this way, it comes up that way, it goes that way. That's the low pressure side for this vehicle. And that line goes in there. It snakes from the front of the engine all the way all the way to the side as you can see there. And then it goes up there and connects, connects right there. And then it goes down and connects back there. Okay. I I practically had to pull the engine to get that line in and out as you can see. So I I had to disconnect the engine mount here and then use the engine crane to raise and lower the engine and move things out of the way as I snaked this line down in and around there. Now keep in mind, this AC line costs basically 500 bucks and it has to come from Korea. It's a discontinued part. It is not provided in the States via Kia. So yeah, in order to get it, we have to go through Kia. And so to me, this line is like, more precious than diamonds and so you have to be very careful because if you damage it you're going to cost yourself a lot of money a lot of time and also what it takes to get another one so you know i just took my time and i slowly snaked it in here and i and i did find that raising and lowering the engine made it a lot easier so it just it is what it is so that line is now laid in there and so at this point really as far as the AC system goes, it's just a matter of getting everything bolted back together. Again, taking my time to make sure everything's done correctly, everything's done right. I did identify some issues like with the belt tensioner down there and a minor oil leak with the oil pan. So while I'm in here, I am gonna go ahead and get those fixed up and go from there and all that other good stuff. So um, over the next couple days, this job should be wrapping up. So. Once I completely finish it, I'll make a video for you guys so you can see the finished product and see it go from this back to a normal working car and everything will be good again. So, all right, you guys, well, thanks for supporting me. Thanks for watching my videos. If you have any questions, shoot them to me in the comments. I really do enjoy helping other people out. So if you're working on a project yourself and you're stumped on something, uh, get a hold of me, uh, shoot me a question. If I don't know it, it's very possible that I know somebody that does know it. So we can always get it figured out for you. All right. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.